I said I came in solidarity to observe. And I'm of the view that the path to peace and genuine reconciliation is that bail should be granted. Or the government under Section 174, Subsection 1C, has the power to enter Nole and this matter dies. Then you take the path of peace and reconciliation. Tension is rising. There is so much killing and destruction. We don't even know who is in that. But the way to start first is to show that you don't have any hate or premeditated plan against Mazin Nandekan. By face of for granting him bail or discontinuing the trial and going to the temple, let me ask you, when Boko Haram that is on U.S. terrorist list as a dangerous killer squad, the government non negotiate and talk with some of them, they do not even forgive the murderers of the highest degree. We are even granted amnesty even when they didn't ask. We are even fed with chicken waste and indomie. Then what did this, our brother, ask that has become a sin? What is Thank it you. that he has done Thank that you. very feels he can put down everybody into the ground? So it's very important. It's very important that the path to peace is to show compassion, is to grant him bail and then go back to the table and do it. That's why I came here and they should allow him to have access to all his fundamental rights. Yes, um, for the opposition coalition in Nigeria, this victory is victory for justice, fairness and rule of law. It was Nelson Mandela that said, it always looks impossible until it's done. And Pope John Paul II said, for us to have enduring peace, we must fight for justice. And I'll borrow from the great philosopher, Sophocles, who said that if we must keep our democracy, there must be one commandment, that shall not ration justice. So justice is the path for enduring peace. So I salute the Court of Appeal for this landmark judgment. And the opposition is using this opportunity to appeal to President Mohamed Buhari as the father of the nation. The appeal court have ruled. The international community have also said the same thing. Open the gates. Let Mazin Nandekanu go home so that we can have peace. Free Mazin Nandekanu tomorrow letters will be the path for enduring peace. So I commend the Nigerian judiciary. I commend the courage exhibited by the judges that ruled on this matter and I appeal on the federal government, and in particular, our dear president, President Mohamed Buhari, it's time for Nandekanu to go home. It's time. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you are seeing everything that I'm talking about. I want you to pay attention to this video. We are not going to forget our own. We are not going to forget our own. We will keep on asking questions. That is why we are here. All right, wonderful people. All right, great people. I hope every one of you listening to Ikengayimu, Ugoshinyere, what he said with his mouth about the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. <clears throat> How he pleaded. He was in Abuja several times in solidarity with our leader, Mazin Nandekan. He even pleaded to open the door so that Mazin Nandekan can go home. Of course, I will keep on lamenting and I will keep on asking a question because there is something about me that is unique. Anything that I start, if I don't see the head, I'm not going to stop. That is why we are, our second name is Consistency. We have come to stay. I don't believe in this adage in our place said. Na something baharo. Obro menani. Not for me. I believe in reality. Botadike, botadike ke ubodike. Obosi femera chobadike. 
Talk about your people that they are in pain. So that when it will come to you, people will talk about you. But let me introduce myself before I will move further. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nande Khan. Here I am. We set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kenau Kichuku, known as the Biafran Shadow Washington. The general. Now listen very attentively. I want you people to understand this. That I am not going to stop talking about Ikengimu, Ugoshinere. I am asking people, those people that are threatening, they threatened him so much. I hope you people haven't forgotten what happened, the threat that happened on 22 December 2022 by Shinasa Wan SA. To hope those of them were the willing tool in our land. The man that they imposed to us to begin to kill and maim our people. I'm not going to stop. If you think that I'm going to stop, or, if you, or you think that you are going to stop, listen to me. When things will happen, this is how people will forget about you. And we have come to stay. That is why we are taking record because we are not going to be like zoo. When Biafra comes, we are not going to be like zoo. And we are not going to forget anything. That is why we are taking record. That is why I'm also back here asking about our brother, Ikenga Imo Ugoshinere. After the threat, they came to his house 2023. They burn everything to the lowest ground, to the lowest level. They cause the properties that this man have worked for. But my question is, where is Ugo Shinere? Where is Ugo Shinere? They should tell us where he is. Is Ugo Shinere under their custody? Remember what... Shina Sawaneri said with his mouth through the phone conversation that I have already brought out to show our people. He said, if he did not deal with Ugo Shinere, him, the Shina Sawaneri, will go and hang himself. That is a very big threat in highest order. And we are beginning to see how they we are practicalizing all the things, all the threats that they have given to this man. You know why I'm saying all these things is according to the threat. Because after the threat, it's not even out up to one month. And we begin to see it physical. My question now is, where is Ugoshina? Our people should start asking a question. Because if you think you are not going to ask a question, if they be able to walk away with the atrocity and crime they committed against Ugo Shinere, your own will be my mind. Believe you me, nobody will talk about you. That is why we have to stand on our ground. Begin to ask questions. Where is our brother? Is he still alive? Is he under their uh, custody? What are they doing with our brother? Because we want to hear from him. We are not going to stop. That is why we are different. We want to change things. And there is something I want to let our people understand with all this thing that... Nigeria are parading themselves. Gun and bullet. 
guns and bullets can never stop this ideology of Biafran restoration project. And believe you me, you see all these things they are running away from. At the end, there must be a round table. Of course, there is no how. They must be on a round table. Negotiation must come, whether they like it or not. You may run away, but at the end, we must sit on a round table. That is why I'm bringing all this to our people. But the reason why I'm here is, where is Ugoshin? Our people should begin to ask a question. Make sure you people circulate this video. Let us begin to ask them. Those that are threatening our brother and those people that said that they will do something to him, let us begin to ask them a question. And they have to answer out. Good day. I hope all you're welcome.